Welcome to Jay's Gallery today. We're really pleased to bring you this wonderful exhibition of James. Only last week I was up Mount Robles with the grandchildren and looking at the trees and you just get that, she just has captured that wonderful feel that I felt when I was there. So welcome and I'm going to hand over to Brad who's going to say a few words and open the show for us and then Jane's going to give us a little chat about the works and how she came to do this. Thank you Brad. Well, I thought maybe we could just start by um, giving Jane a round of applause for a beautiful exhibition. Thank you. I'm sure many of you know that to um, bring an exhibition together is no small thing. And it takes uh, not just the amount of time that it takes to make the actual pictures, but then also all of your life building up to that uh, experience. Uh, to then come up with this, this number of works. But a whole lot goes in to making uh, any one picture, let alone a whole group of pictures. So that's really what we're seeing here is the kind of, uh, I like to think of it as a little bit like the cream on the top of the, the churning milk of life, if you like. Uh, this is just the, the kind of uh, layer that we have seen a lot of work go into and now we get to enjoy. Um, but we don't always know what an artist has been through to make that uh, to, to realize that vision. So um, I've been thinking a little bit in terms of uh, Jane's work and more generally about the difference really between uh, what a picture depicts and what it's about. And I think that this is a great example of, uh, not that they're necessarily different, but uh, I thought I'd talk a little bit about what they depict and then a little bit about what I think they're about. Um, the second part is much more subjective. But um, the first part really is, uh, we're, Jane and I were talking a little bit about how the influence for this series of paintings was uh, Katsushika Hokusai's um, 36 views of uh, um, Mount Fuji. There's a wonderful series of prints, I'm sure many of you know, where uh, in every uh, print from this series, there's uh, the peak of Mount Fuji in somewhere. <coughs> Sometimes it's tiny in the background, other times it's the major feature in, in one of the prints. And... Uh, it's a great series, I'm sure many of you know the Great Wave picture uh, by Hokusai. And if you look carefully in the distance in the background, there's a little Mount Fuji across the water. Um, so sometimes the mountain is uh, uh, just an incidental feature in the distance, sometimes it's the main subject. But uh, that really inspired Jane with this whole series, which are mainly drawn from her experiences on Mount Canobolus, which uh, um, many of you will be familiar with and will recognize the kind of feeling of this place uh, from the times that you've possibly been up there and spent time there. Uh, and also, so that's the other real influence in the work is Canobolus itself, let alone, so we've got Hokusai on the one hand and then the actual feature of Mount Canobolus on the other. So uh, what's interesting, I think, is the way that sometimes we see it in the distance, um, here, for example, and other times we're actually really on the mountain, uh, in it, uh, surrounded by the, the, the plants and birds and so on, and immersed in that place. So this is really an experience of being in a place, of letting it kind of filter in and then uh, creating works. And then also working into the paintings, uh, writing. So sometimes this is nature's writing, which takes the form of uh, scribbly bark, uh, drawings, which I'm sure many of you have noticed, and uh, Jane's brought these into the artworks, and they really are such beautiful uh, lines and forms. And then her own writing, which is uh, autobiographical or sometimes taken from other poetic sources that she writes, sometimes it's hidden in the landscape. You really have to look for it to find it. Other, at other occasions, it's more uh, a graphic kind of element in the picture. So she, there, there are many layers. Uh, in, in each of these pictures and so we, we have a mixture of what we're looking at and then also what Jane's thinking, uh, some memory perhaps or some poetic uh, interpretation then laid back and woven back through that landscape. So I think this brings me to then what are the pictures about and uh, this is where it gets much more personal and uh, I think we each will have our own view as to what the pictures are about. Um, and so what I see, the first thing that I see is, I think in a sense, a kind of life affirmation. Uh, it's hard to be a painter, uh, full stop. 
even when things are going well. I'm sure many of you know what that's like. It's difficult. You know, it's, uh, you have to have an incredible amount of personal vision. You're in a world where all the um, signs are saying, you're crazy, you know, <laughs> get a real job, uh, all of that. And then, uh, and then you have to trust, there's an incredible amount of trust to go through to actually realize the vision. And then the risk of this kind of setup, yeah. where you put it out there and then you're kind of almost naked, if you like, just standing there, this is me. Please be gentle, yeah. Um, so, there's that, so there's that kind of risk. Really, it's, um, it is a risk, and it's, it's a long road. Then, that's when things are going well. Then, uh, there are other kinds of obstacles that come. And I'm sure many of you will know uh, what uh, Jane has experienced, and why I think this exhibition is a real triumph, uh, and life-affirming. And it's, I think, a real celebration. So, there's this quality, which I think, to me, adds a great amount of meaning through all of this work, and it's to me, part of what they're about. Whether or not Jane intended that is to, not really the point. <laughs> so uh, I see that they're about that, and I see that um, I see that here is an artist who's taken great obstacles and made them into the path. Uh, I think some artists see the obstacles and they go, you know what, this is not the right time. It's too hard. You know, I must deal with these other things. You know. Whereas I think uh, it's wonderful that somebody can take that, and it's a bit like pulling out the weeds from the base of a plant and then using them in the soil as kind of manure, you know, which then enriches the whole process, makes the whole process even more meaningful. And so I think that is a wonderful thing and um, uh, I think something to celebrate in this exhibition. And then also to treat nature as a kind of place of refuge, I think is something more and more these days we can all relate to. That it's, you know, landscape painting is no longer just pretty pictures about places. It's also political. It's political to stand somewhere and uh, witness something natural, to celebrate something natural, to say this is sacred, this is meaningful, it's precious. That, I think, is becoming increasingly meaningful, but not in an overt way, you know, a big political statement. But it is actually uh, really doing something radically different to what I think generally as a society we're encouraged to do and how we're encouraged to work with the land, you know, which is normally a case of stripping it, uh, milking it or mining it, you know and then casting it aside. So this idea of nature as a place of refuge, I think, is something really, really important. And um, you've reminded me through this exhibition that Canobulus is a place of refuge, and it's a place to be uh, appreciated. And also to, as you've acknowledged, that the, um, there, there have been other kinds of writing over this landscape for uh, millennia, and that, that's really important to acknowledge as well. Other stories that are, uh, have been projected onto this landscape and which still resonate through this landscape so that even when we see it as a personal thing and a personal symbol that to acknowledge that others too have been here long before and have done a similar way of uh, blending the internal landscape and the external landscape into a meaningful kind of uh, dialogue. So uh, that's what I think these pictures are about, partly. And then of course, Jane's gonna talk a little bit more, I think, about uh, her experience of making them and uh, describing them. But I just really wanted to say congratulations, Jane, and thank you for a great exhibition. Thank you. Thank you.